Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing medieval builds versus modern builds. So let's get on with the video. Before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future content of mine. And make sure to hit the like button as well if you want more awesome videos just like this. So today's topic, medieval builds versus modern builds, which are better. Most people uh, think medieval builds uh, look better, but some people also think modern builds look better. And I know that this is not a good example for a medieval build. I'm not a, an amazing builder, so don't judge. So first, let's take a look at the medieval builds. So as you can see, I have laid out the common palettes for each of the types of builds in front of the build itself. So over here we have oak logs, oak planks, oak fences, spruce stairs, uh, slabs as well, fences, planks, uh, cobblestone, stone bricks, a uh, type of glass pane, and sometimes bricks. But it's not uh, necessary that you use only the clear glass pane. Sometimes people will use this uh, light gray stained glass since it it doesn't have these uh, lines that are, aren't more prominent so that is the modern build and the interior I did not do at all so sorry about that and the uh, roof uh, as you can see is not a standard roof with just the stairs it has the cobblestone uh, stairs blocks and there's a slab at the top let's take it this case so I, I want to show you a quick demo of this um, a quick demo of this roof so first you want to place stairs like this then a block then stairs then block stairs block stairs stairs block not there then again just repeat the process so it's basically just a a frame roof but with a block in between each of the uh, two stairs so between these two stairs is a block but normally we just do this so this boom 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 and survival this it will be a pain to build trust me i have tried this many times i never found a good way to do it without uh, jumping off and then just throwing back up so i recommend just getting all the materials first that, or get as much materials as you can that you can fit in your inventory and then just go for the roof then you can uh, do the rest of the build because this is a pain and I know this is taking a lot of time so sorry about that and ok it's almost done Here, you can just place a stair like so, and then turn around, place a stair like this, then you can sneak, place a stair like this, stair, and another stair. Now, as you can see, that creates this curve like effect, I don't know on both sides. And some people also like to do uh, what is essentially a Also like to do um, this, so they do it here and then just slap over here. With this type of roof, I'm not uh, so sure how you would do the roof. So I think you would put a block or a stair. I think we stay like this. So 
this also looks pretty good and instead of this type of roof you can also just add in some slabs to make it look a little better more rustic feel so let's just put a block over here let's put a block over here right there and then over here and by the way it's not overkill it's just a rustic uh, building style or medieval or whatever you want to call it so as you can see people like do this as well just quickly to scare the blocks after a while or very frequently depending on how much you like to detail as you can see this roof also looks pretty good so that is a medieval build now i will go on with the uh, modern builds so let me just set time set 200 yep. and by the way the reason i'm using shaders is just to uh, I tell you guys how good it looks with shaders the modern builds it's almost like a rule that if you build modern you have to use shaders and because I'm recording I can't use any of these filters vibrant or anything like that so I'm just using the chalk pick 13 high performance filter.zip the download will be in the description down below so for the modern builds the palette is just basically white concrete gray concrete or you can use quartz and stained clay then some form of glass paints. I find that black is really, really the best. A wood type, some leaves, and smooth stone slabs and stone for drywalls. So over here, as you can see, there's there's a bunch of uh, sharp uh, edges and it's very precise. But over here is more freehand and there's not not a lot of sharp edges. And there's a lot of windows. And I didn't do the interior for any of these. This, from this one I just did a uh, staircase going up and I forgot to do this one. This. As you can see modern builds don't really usually have a roof and sometimes, if, uh, let me just get the block that I need to do it. Black stained glass blocks. Sometimes there's a little skylight like I do this and I can just fill it. I think this is why the skylight is uh, pretty prominent. And if you're on Java edition, then you sh you really need to get uh, Optifine if you want to make the modern builds look good, or else they will just have these uh, weird borders in them and look horrible. And then, as you can see, there's some balconies as well. Again, I didn't do the tier, so there you can just have to drop over here, and you can just go to create a mode over here. So boom, and then the floor is usually wood, and there's a wood accent to it. And over here, there's nothing, so let's just go out. So that is the modern builds, and the medieval builds are recovered. So I don't actually have a favorite between these modern and the medieval builds, but modern builds, I mean medieval builds, uh, tend to fit better in with the theme of Minecraft, especially since uh, during survival your inventory usually looks like this. Ignore the fact that I'm completely have a full set of netherite tools. You, your inventory uh, usually looks like this, and you have armor on and uh, and a shield and all that stuff. And you, you, your only ranged weapon is a bow and a crossbow. But if you, but in, in during modern times, wait, not day, night, yeah. So, but during modern builds, it's usually you have guns or you have some, I don't know, guns for the ranged combat, and then not a sword. You have like a knife or a buoy or, or some knife of a sort and you don't you won't mind stone with a pickaxe you'll just buy it at you'll just buy it at the mine and the axe you won't buy wood you'll just buy it at the guy who sells it same with dirt dirt you can just pick it up you don't even need a shovel for it and i forgot one detail from for me for usually i have like a path going over here and i use um, and then for the the modern builds, it's going to be that stone driveway, so that's a modern build. 
and uh, but modern builds don't really have the uh, they don't really fit in with uh, Minecraft style. <laughs> Minecraft style is all about uh, getting resources, then, then building, but in real life you can just buy it at a grocery store and then build if you want to want. And the skeleton doesn't shoot at all. Wow. Let me just go back to the creative mode. And I didn't light any of them up, so mobs should be spawning inside. But as you can see, I do build. Uh, I do build better in modern style than medieval, just because there's a lot of thinking involved in this. Actually, not a lot of thinking, but just freehand. I'm not good at that stuff. I'm good at this sharp clean edges. But I try. I try to switch up the styles a, a lot when I build. So I guess you would say that medieval is a winner for today. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a nice day.